This is the McTeever K1 body camera. Alright, so in the box you have a micro SD card that is labeled C10 64 gigabytes, no brand name, a mini body camera user's manual, a quarter by 20 tripod screw with a snap attachment, probably for like a handlebar for example, um, anything round that you could snap this around. And the actual body camera itself, which is quite small. Um, it looks like it has a rotating head, so currently the head's pointing this way, which would be kind of back towards the person because there's a clip here, and there's also the um, quarter by 20 tripod type mount. And I can rotate this around like so to point directly up, so you could use it as a camera this way, or you can rotate it that way. Now there is a tiny little screen with a screen protective cover. All right, button wise, we have take a picture. There's a little reset hole. There's the master on off. There's the compact flash card slot, which I put the compact flash card into. It goes in upside down from the way you may expect with the little contacts here facing the same side as the screen. Now on the other side, there is an on off button for the lights and there is a button that controls the recording. The microphone hole is right here. So if you slide this button to the top, it will start video recording, and it will keep video recording until you move it to the middle, at which point it saves. If you slide it to the bottom, it'll audio record, and it will keep audio recording until you move it to the middle, at which point it saves. So, we slide this to ARN to turn this guy ARN. It boots up. Um, if you want to set the date and time, you can push the up and down arrows, and then you're able to set the date and time to save it. To move to the next thing, you just push this button. When you want to save it, you long push and hold the OK button, and it goes away. Now, if you want to... So right now, the video is upside down. Um, if I want to swap the video, you can long press the picture button, and it will change the video to be this way. Now, if you move this guy to the other direction, and it's upside down again, you just long press this guy, and now it's upright for that situation. So you can rotate it forward, so you could hold it and point it like this as a video camera, or if you push this button here, it will take a picture. Um, you can rotate it this way, and if you do that, you'd have to hold and long press this to move it back, so now you could hold it like this, take a picture, take a video that way, or mount it with this guy or the clip there, you know, on a pocket, for example. Um, it, the screen goes off pretty quickly, so it's, it's in a battery saving mode. There's no way that I've found to change that timeout. If you push the OK button, it'll show the screen again, but the screen does turn off by default after just a few seconds. Um, so if you want to record video, you take this switch and you slide it up. It will have a red flashing light. It'll have a countdown timer. It is now recording video. Um, this screen does go out after a while, and when it does that, there is no lights or indication that this is recording video anymore. It is still recording right now, however. So when I move this switch to the um, middle, it will stop recording and that video is saved. So Red flashing light, it'll have a countdown timer. It is now recording video. Um, this screen does go out after a while and when it does that, there is no lights or indication that this is recording video anymore. It is still recording right now, however. So when I move this switch to the um, middle. Same thing if you push it down, it's recording audio only now. Um, it'll have this screen up for a couple of seconds and then when this goes to the power save mode it'll turn off and now it is still recording audio and it will continue to record audio until you move this up to the middle at which point um, it will save that audio. You can push the OK button and scroll back through audio and video recordings, push OK again to play. Long press on the OK button will get you out again. There is one more thing here, which is the flashlight mode. Um, so if you push this switch up, it'll turn on the lights and you can use that when videoing or photographing. 
And that is basically all this guy does. So if those are the types of features you want, then you're set. Um, there's nothing else to learn about it. It has a USB-C plug for charging or for pulling the data off. As far as I can tell, there's no way to delete data off of this other than plugging it into a computer and moving and deleting the files off of it. Um, or taking the card out and deleting the files off of the card. All right, I'm wearing this thing on my shirt. We are indoors and we are going into a dark environment here. So I have turned off the light in this closet. Uh, now I'm going to turn on the flashlight mode. So this is flashlight mode in total darkness. And this is total darkness. This is outdoors in partly cloudy conditions, partly sunny conditions. So the camera with the SD card in it is 1.45 ounces or 41 grams. So in addition to the wraparound kind of handlebar pull mount and the micro SD card that comes with it, you also get a USB-A to C cable which can be used for data transfer or charging. When you plug it into charge, there's a small red light on the left corner there that lights up. It's going to turn off when it's done charging. So in addition to the clip on the back and the 1 quarter by 20 thread, this also has a magnet integrated so you can see it snaps and holds to any magnetic surface. The box says HD camera, body camera, and then this is CS08. All right, the charging light went out. We're going to record video with this thing and see how long it records. It says it'll go 150 minutes with the light off. Okay, this guy is fully charged. And we are going to use it to record this clock and see how long it runs. All right, this guy recorded for 170 minutes, which is 20 minutes more than the 150 minutes its specification says. It's nice, small, light. Image quality is pretty reasonable in the daytime. Not super great at night. If you're close up to things at night, these two lights will light them up and you can get video of it. But if you're farther away, it, it just, you know, it's not great for night. Um, you can take a photo by pushing the photo button manually. You can switch it into audio only mode. I didn't test the um, amount of time it lasts in audio only mode. but. Uh, um, it's a pretty reasonable offering for a body camera. You know, this is not, you know, police quality. It only goes for a couple of hours. But if you're looking to record some sporting events or just carrying around someplace recording something, um, it's a nice lightweight camera for that.